Hello and welcome to day 12, I think it's the 12th, 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 <laughs> it's December 12th today and I have been having a very quiet morning knitting away on this one which is a colorwork head by Caitlin Hunter, it's a free pattern and yeah I just had a rough night so rough night in the sense i just didn't couldn't find any comfortable positions which happens at the end of the pregnancy um so i just woke up several times and was in, body was aching and stuff anyways this is not about me complaining um but it just means i was a bit tired and i took a very easy morning so i've been knitting away on this one and i realized i started making a few mistakes so it's probably time to stop I just wanted to show you, I just shared it on Instagram and I think it is it is so beautiful. I'm knitting it up in this yarn which I got at EYF. Uh, I think I showed it in one of my first Vlogmas, Vlogmas episodes. Um, I was trying to do a colorwork mitt using this yarn or mitten, um, but it didn't. I didn't really like how it was knitting up for that. So I changed to another yarn, but I really wanted to make something with it and I had it, had it uh, wound up in balls, so they were ready to go. Uh, this is uh, used wool, Sith, and this one is the natural colorway, or one of the natural colorways. And this one has been hand dyed by Old Maiden Aunt. And when I saw them, I just had to get them, but I really didn't know what to make with them. So it's a DK weight. It's 100 grams, I think, or 50 grams. Uh, ah, I can't remember. I would probably have it on my Ravelry project page. Um, and I think it is knitting up absolutely beautiful. It is very, it has this very faded effect or like heathery, um, like it's a bit faded by the sun. You can see it's a bit variegated. It's a very beautiful tonal. Oh variegated maybe a little bit it just has the natural color shining through and then these purples on top uh, yeah so this once i'm done with this piece which would be a little bit more there should be another flower piece and then the crown. i don't know if i want it that long let me just try to put it on and you can see so um, i also did the cuff a little shorter because it's supposed to be the brim it's brim on the head it's supposed to be folded to be able to fold it over as you can see it's already going to be a bit slouchy and I think I'm happy with it now so I think what I will do is I will just omit the last uh, color work section um, that is the same as this one or change it up a little bit because it has I have to decrease uh, for the crown oops this yarn is very sticky so it keeps sticking together but it's lovely for color work so yeah it's not so easy to see what you're doing while you're knitting on it and when I knit at night it's pretty much impossible but I just really love the effect it's giving so that's that and I wanted to talk a little bit about a book I picked up at the library this one I've been um, I think I have shown it before like a long time ago on my insta stories um, but I just picked it up again and I really wanted to show you a little bit of this book because it's a book uh, about, it's called Fairies uh, Knitting Book. I think that would be the title in English, I actually don't know, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's made, it's written by, let me see, Siv Divik. And most of the, the only thing I dislike about this one is most of the patterns are from Sandness yarn and it's not that I have a big problem with Sandness but there's a lot of alpaca and stuff that I wouldn't use and I thought it would have been more interesting to have it made with um, fairies yarn like Snellen or City or uh, what other brands do we have? I'm sure there's, I'm forgetting some but it would have been interesting to see a little more um, yeah, Parisian, but the pictures are absolutely beautiful from the Faroe Islands or Isles, Faroe Isles, there's a lot of 
shearing pictures. It's just a very beautiful book and they're using a lot of the, um, let me see if I can show you a little bit like this, traditional patterns and talking about the traditional color work style. So I just, I just love these pictures. They're so cool. So it's a very pretty book just to look through, but there's also some really nice, um, more sheep, sheep everywhere. Some really nice uh, patterns in here. I don't know if this book is available in English, so talking about it might be really pointless. Um, but they have these very simple color work sweaters that I think are very nice, especially for men. And also, um, I didn't see this one. It's just a very beautiful book to look through. Probably not gonna show you all the patterns. And by the way, I love the cover. Oh, the cover, the inside of the cover. They have these old <clears throat> um, drawings. One of the ones I've been thinking about making is this one. It's a poncho for with a, for baby carrying. And I really wanted to make one like that. So maybe, maybe we'll get around to do it, but uh, I don't know. Um, it's just so adorable, look at that. With the little head sticking out. I would probably change up a little bit the pattern or something, but or the yeah the color work. And I also really like this hat. There's something really nice about it. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna show too much of the pattern. Um, also, because I wear my hair in a ponytail most times when I'm out, as I talked about, my hair is so thick and just prefer getting it out of my face and this one would allow me to do that instead of a normal head. I actually really considered using this yarn for that head but ended up not. Um, just really beautiful pictures all over in this one. So if you can get your hands on it I would recommend. They have some more traditional style uh, garments like this one, this uh, very traditional pattern, but most of them are knit up in a more modern yarns. Um, and there's, let me see if I can find it. Sorry, me looking in a book is not that interesting. <laughs> I haven't put in any bookmarks. I just wanted to see if I could find, where is it? Yeah, like this cardigan. I think it's absolutely beautiful too, like very cozy and warm. I would probably pick some little bit different colors, but I think the colors are nice. It's just for me, I would probably up for something else. Yeah, here you can see it again. This one, very nice. It's called the uh, Malina cardigan. So yes, it's just a very beautiful book. Uh, and there are also some children's patterns in here, I think, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, this one also. Very pretty. Look at this one. I, I probably I wouldn't make half of them. That's also why I haven't bought the book and just I am just love getting it from the library and looking through it. But yeah. I don't have much else to say, by the way. This picture I didn't show in the beginning, but isn't that cool? So I just wanted to mention this book uh, because I think... Did I just get lipstick on it? Mm. This is what happens when I try to put lipstick on because I just was tired of seeing my really sleepy face on these vlog visits. So I put a tiny bit of lipstick on and I managed to smear it all over. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to talk about this. I, I am, I have no reason to talk about it other than I just think it's a beautiful book. So I will go up and work on getting the pattern set up completely. I need to make some pictures, but I think that would be tomorrow. I just didn't feel like it today. Um, so I will work on the patterns, get them ready, and there will be two patterns out this week. So I'm quite busy with that and maybe tomorrow there will be something exciting happening it depends how much i can get done today 
So in case I manage to do what I'm planning to do, I will have a little um, exciting trip tomorrow planned. So we'll see. Bye.